What's up my fellow foodies? It's your girl Saba and I am back with another easy recipe. I'm going to be showing you how to make peanut butter cookies using only three ingredients. Oh yeah, you heard right. Y'all, you don't want to miss this recipe, so let's get started. But before we get started, if you have not already subscribed, click that red subscription button below and join the tribe. And don't forget to like this video. It's an easy and free way to support the channel. Alright, so let's get started by preheating our ovens to 350 degrees. You want your cookies to turn out smooth and creamy, so definitely use creamy peanut butter. I'm using Smucker's Organic Creamy Peanut Butter. Add in some monk fruit sweetener. It's a great one-to-one -one sub for regular sugar with no funny aftertaste. Use one egg for this recipe. Mix all the ingredients together. Now, typically, I would be pulling out my food processor right about now to mix all these ingredients, but I got a few DMs from people who don't have food processors or stand mixers, and they were asking me if they can really mix these ingredients by hand. Now, the answer is yes, but I'm not gonna hold you. It's gonna take a little bit of elbow grease to make it work, but it's totally manageable. You want all the ingredients to be fully incorporated and you should be able to make a ball with your dough. Grab a baking sheet and line it with parchment paper. Because the dough is pretty sticky, I greased my hands with my ghee oil cooking spray. It's very similar to Pam cooking spray, but it's made with ghee. It's a great way to prevent your cookie dough balls from sticking to your hands. Each cookie dough ball is gonna be about one inch thick. Now for my favorite part of the process, which is making the crisscross design. I'm taking the back of a fork and I'm greasing it up with that same ghee oil spray I use for my hands. Again, this is a great way to make sure that the fork does not stick to the cookie dough balls. I'm going to bake these for about 10 minutes because I like my cookies to be soft and chewy. Hello foodies, this is how the cookies turned out. Look how adorable these are. The cookies are done and they're smelling oh so peanut butter-ish. Now I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the biggest fan of peanut butter, but um, these cookies are amazing. One, because they're super easy and two, they're really delicious. Look how cute the design turned out. Mmm. Mmm. For flourless cookies, no one will be able to tell. But the sweetness that was added, oh my gosh. Look, look, look. The inside of the cookie is so ooey gooey. I think I'm gonna eat this batch by myself and not feel bad about it. <laughs> much for watching head on over to my website savingwithsaba.com for the full ingredients and step-by-step -step instructions don't forget to click that red subscription button below and join the tribe and also like and share this video it's an easy and free way to support the channel and if you want to see more cookie recipes or just any other recipes in general drop a comment down below y'all it's been fun stay safe and happy savoring